Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity. I've been reading the comments, all the suggestions and tips that you guys have been giving me. Um, but also, I've actually now managed to get to a point where we can make a bookshelf and uh, get ourselves the Thormcraft Thormonomicon. Now typically, I decided last night I was going to do a little bit of exploring. And um, let's just bring the map up. actually went out and uh, pretty much uncovered, uh, well, all of this area here. Um, I found um, a Slime Island. I didn't visit it because I've got no way of getting up there at the moment unless I wanted to nerd pole. But I was just trying to uncover bits of the map. Got a strange chunk here that decided not to load in just before we went into this bog biome. Um, found a Thumbcraft Trader here. I did find another one somewhere around. I can't remember exactly where it was. I didn't mark it up. Uh, found a second village over here which I did visit. I hadn't even noticed at the time. I've only just noticed now looking at the map. There's actually another village over here. I hadn't noticed that one at all. I'll go and visit that at some point in the future. Um... So yeah, that's basically what I did. Uh, but in that village, I did actually find a bookshelf. However, I didn't bring it home because on the recommendation of a few of you guys, I'm going to have to apologise now because I can't remember who recommended what tips. And I really am grateful for them all. But I just I get so many good ideas from you guys. And I know there's a few of you who are the main sort of um, people that give me lots and lots of uh, helpful advice. And I really do appreciate that. But I just can't remember without sort of tabbing out and having to look but somebody suggested making the presser which is a pam's harvest craft uh, machine um i didn't do it on camera because it's really easy to make it's literally just two pistons and five iron ingots and the uh, the press is really really good because all you need is uh, an oak log which i'm betting i probably haven't got one now uh, but you basically just take an oak log and drop it in the top and it produces paper you don't even need any power or anything to it so that is a great little machine there. Uh, I also went ahead and built the juicer. The juicer is really easy to build. It's literally just a um, a stone pressure plate and a uh, what is it? A stone pressure plate and a piece of stone. That, that it's that simple. And uh, basically, you just go over to a crafting table and you put the presser or the juicer, sorry, with the fruit, and you um, you get juice basically. And uh, the juice is um, sort of more nourishing than the sort of plain bog standard berries. And we've got lots of berries, so that would be easy enough. So let's go ahead and build a bookcase. Um, one issue that we do have, of course, and I've, I, I forgot about this completely at the time, is we don't actually have enough leather, which is really flipping annoying. Uh, let's just quickly grab the sleeping bag. So this is again another instance of me saying, I know I'll, I'll pre-plan everything and then I forget to get the leather in advance. I have built another room on the top of the house, you'll notice here. Um, it has a lot more windows because we're now over the actual sort of top of the uh, the hillside now. We can see out in more directions. We've still got a little bit of uh, dirt blocks behind us there, so we, we don't have windows out of the back. Uh, I used my last... Um, ender pearl i think i had a few uh, ender shards or whatever it was um i did consider making the you know adjusting the height of this door and readjusting all the all the bridge but i just couldn't be bothered um some of you or at least one of you has suggested that i need some sort of um there are various plants and trees and things that can be used to sort of fight back the corrupted area from the obsidian obelisk so that's something that i'm going to have to look into now as for that eldritch obelisk i uh I had a quick look on Wikipedia, basically, and um, uh, for Thormcraft, and realise now that uh, it's a little bit more complicated getting rid of that. I mean, of course, you know, you can destroy it in creative mode like you can with everything else, but we want to do it legitimately. So it means we're going to have to take a little bit of time. We're going to have to find... Um, well, we're going to have to work our way through Thormcraft, basically, uh, so we can get to a point where we can, uh, where we can destroy it. And uh, apparently we can get some goodies from it if we uh, destroy it in the correct way. So don't fully understand how it all works, but I know roughly what I am working towards now. Just having a look around here because I was hoping to find a couple of cows. There were some around at some point. Um, typically when you're looking for them, you can never find them though. But we'll just have a quick scout around. If it takes me too long to find them, I will just cut it uh, cut the bit of the video out because I don't want this to be 30 minutes of me just running around an area that I've already explored before. I could get into the habit of just waypointing absolutely everything so that I can remember where all of the cows are and where all of the pigs are and where all of the sheep are and stuff like that, but that would make too much sense. Um, also, just to make matters worse, I didn't bring the hang glider with me either, so... 
And I'm not sure. Oh, there's a cow over there. We may be in luck. I think I've got two leather back at the house. And I need um, nine leather, I think, in total. Oh, blueberries. Let's just grab them anyway. So then, Mr. Cow. Mr. Goo. Where did you go? And there you are. And um, I'm not going to turn the nano saber on because you don't really need to for cows. They're, they're, they're quite quite squishy as it is. Uh, it didn't appear to drop... Oh, raspberries. didn't appear to drop a, uh, a single thing there. Which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, what have we got up there? Ah, more cows. There we go. There we go. You're not going to drop... You're all the way up there, which is not very helpful. You are hiding. I mean, I could go and shoot him with the bow, but the problem is if he does actually drop the item that I'm after, I'm not going to be able to get it anyway. Oh, he's, dro he's dropping down, kind of. Um, shouldn't really be using my sword for this, but we will uh, do what we can. No, you're not getting away. He dropped some. Uh, he dropped some meat up there. I did see it. I think. Ah, did we get any leather at all? We've got a couple, so we are getting there. But now we seem to have run out of cows. Got some sheep around. Okay, well I'm going to make a cut while I go off and find some more uh, some more cows so we can get the rest of the leather. Really should have done that before I uh, started this episode, but I completely forgot. I was so excited that I found this brilliant. Well, well I, I didn't find it. Obviously, somebody told me, but uh, so excited that I was made aware of this brilliant method of, of getting paper. Oh, uh, that. Um, I absolutely forgot about the leather, which is a bit of a new bearer, really. Uh, but let's go off and um, find the rest of the leather, and then I'll be back with you shortly. Well, I did manage to find a uh, almost entire herd of cows near some horses. I've killed all of the cows that I could see. Now, I managed to pick up seven leather. Um, well, I picked up six and I thought, oh, I don't think I've got enough. But then I found that the luggage had picked one up. So that gives me seven. Now, I think I've got two back home. So that should be a total of nine. And that should be all that I need. Just having a quick look around because I can't see any other cows at all. There's a sheep with a hat that I don't think I have. So let's just go ahead and kill sheepy. And indeed, it is a hat that I do not have. Well, I can't see it. Oh, there's one cow down here. I've just noticed it on the mini-map. Let's go and kill that one. And then it's getting dark, so we really need to think about getting out of here. There he is, hiding under a tree. Did you just drop leather? No, you did not. Um, there's some over there, apparently. I'm also just looking on the uh, mini-map. I can see that there's some spiders already appeared behind me, so it's certainly... Um, dark enough now we do have the sleeping bag of course we could just go ahead and use that and i guess that is what we built it for let's just go and get out of the water first we'll use the sleeping bag oh apparently we can't sleep because there's a uh, the type of ground that we're on it's because we were sleeping on a block that wasn't an actual block it was uh, uh trying to sleep on a piece of grass so there we go and luckily the cows have actually come to come down to visit. You've fallen down a hole, which is not useful. There's zombies down there. All sorts of nice looking stuff. Lots of these uh, holes in the ground that I still haven't discovered yet. I mean, there's lots of coal and stuff around. So at some point, we will have to uh, have a little splunking trip. There's another piece of leather. That is fantastic. One more cow up there. I think we'll kill that last one. And he's, he's coming to the slaughter. So it would be rude not to do so. Uh, that gives us 11 leather. Uh, we definitely have enough, ne enough leather now. So let's go ahead and we'll just quickly teleport back to the home. It might be cheating a little bit, but it it re reduces a lot of the time things take. Uh, what have we got here? We've got some pork chops. Let's go ahead and cook up that beef. Why not? We've got some chicken. Uh, let's get rid of the, uh, the dirt there. And uh, we've got some wool. Let me just go and rid a lot of this junk out of my inventory we don't need the wool um the raspberries can go in here i don't think we can get rid of all these flowers and seeds but any that we can we will sleeping bag you belong in there paper and leather we want plants berries berries go in here but the stack is full and we'll put you in there so we can make more juice with you later overflow seeds and flowers go in this chest these chests still really need sorting out i'll keep the chicken because that needs cooking up you can go in there uh, we've got the wand, we've got the paper, um, egg, we'll go and throw on the floor outside. So much to do, there's always a million things to do in Minecraft, isn't there? No, no chicken from that one. Okay, so, we have our paper, uh, now I've got to remember where the rest of that leather was, and it is in 
Uh, there it is, and uh, we've got the paper. That should be enough. We can make three books from that for certain. So let's go ahead and um, I th think it's just... No, I'm forgetting. That's how you make a bookcase. How do you make a book? Ah, there we go. So after all of that, I didn't actually need... I actually had enough leather. Ugh, should have checked that first for some reason. Oh, well, you can never have too much leather, I suppose. Uh, but now we've got the books. Let's go ahead and um, make a bookshelf or a bookcase. Uh, it's not wooden slabs, is it? It's wooden planks, I think. Just going to double check, though. Yeah, this is definitely uh, wooden planks, so... Let's go ahead and grab some wooden planks. Don't have as many as I'd like. Oh, yeah, someone says you can actually mouse wheel them across to your inventory, which I um, didn't know about, actually. I don't really use the mouse wheel all that much. The mouse wheel on this mouse is a little bit clunky. I've got a... Um, what is it? It's the, uh, the the Cat's Rat 7, which is a little bit... Uh, it's a little bit strange sometimes. The, the mouse wheel, when you click it, sometimes double clicks for some strange reason. But let's go ahead and... Um, are you going to make me take all of those out individually, are you? Fine, I shall do so, and then we'll go and do that. And ta-da! We have ourselves a bookshelf. Now we can go and make the uh, Thormonomicon. Thormonomicon. Uh, let's just go and get rid of all this XP's. And um, I think we'll go downstairs and we'll make this room our Thormcraft room because, well, you know, why the heck not? It's not really being used for anything else. Uh, let's go ahead and um, put our bookshelf here. We will grab our magic wand. That sounds so wrong. And... Uh, Ba -bom. We have ourselves the Thormonomicon. And this is how we get started with pretty much everything in Thormcraft. Um, the Petch, Strange Creatures, Plants and Trees, Enchantments and Ores. Thaumaturgy. So we need to do research before we can build a lot of this stuff. Alchemy. Artifice. So we can build an arcane work table, we can build a table, and we can build a research table. So I think this is going to be our main uh, tree that we work down here, because it tells us the uh, the things that we actually need. Basic artifacts and how to make a primal charm. Primal charms form an important basis for many thaumaturgical constructs. They have no inherent power of their own beyond being able to... Ooh. Seems to be leaking. Uh, beyond being able to focus and channel primal energy in Essentia. Rumours persist that these charms have additional powers, but it is little more than hearsay. So we get to make these charms and things. So we are going to need to have a workbench. Uh, is it going to let me out of that easily? We are going to need these goggles of revealing. We need scribing tools and paper to get a, this research note. Um, but they're very important because they allow you to see the nodes. So there's a few things here. Arcane stone. So I think the important thing is probably build the table, build a research table, build an arcane work table. I think they're going to be what we need to do. Arcane work table, I think, is um, to create an arcane work table, simply right-click with a wand on a table you have placed in the world. The arcane work table serves the same purpose as a normal crafting table with a few key exceptions. Apart from normal crafting recipes, it can also craft some of the items unique to thaumaturgy. To do that, you need to place a wand in the top right-hand slot, and this will allow you to craft items that require this by drawing the energy direct from the wand. The vis required to craft an item will be shown in the six circular symbols surrounding the crafting grid. So, okay, so we need to do that. What about the table itself? The table is more than a simple decorative block. It also serves as a base for other surfaces useful in the practice of magic, like the arcane table and the research table. So, the workbench is basically uh, just the, uh, a um, sort of basic building block to make the other things. So, We'll need to make a couple of these uh, these workbenches, and they're just made with slabs and planks, so that should be easy enough. And uh, we need the research table as well. Uh, the research table is created by placing two tables next to each other and then clicking them with scribing tools. The research table is the most important tool for a thermoturge, and uh, it's used to unlock all of the hidden secrets in the universe and discover new ways of harnessing magic. So they're what we need to do. So basically, we need to go ahead and make ourselves um, uh, three tables. 
And scribing tools, we are going to need uh, a glass file, we're going to need a feather, and we're going to need some uh, black ink or black dye, which shouldn't be too bad. Um, glass file is made with um, clay and glass, so that will be easy enough. And um, black dye is what's the easiest way to get black dye oh ink sack we've got plenty of those so that's not a problem um i think we'll have a little bookshelf down here as well so that we've got some space for that um let's go ahead and if we can do it we've got some of this nice uh, this nice black wood here and uh, we can go ahead and make a black bookshelf because you know that's that seems appropriate um let's just cook that chicken up let's get rid of all of this food now then um what do we want to do here? Why, I don't know why I don't keep at least some of those stupid planks in that chest because that's what we build. Um, let's go and have a look at Not Enough Info because I can never remember how to make the um, the shelves without looking at them, which are these ones here. And um, what's the pattern for it? It is literally slabs, uh, six slabs and a plank in the middle. There we go. So we want to make ourselves six slabs. There we go and put one plank in the middle and then we get ourselves a nice little black bookshelf that's fantastic now let's go ahead and make the um the tables i think it was this one. i've sort of kind of half forgotten already there we go uh we are going to need to make three of these so i will need to make some more uh, some more slabs um the reason for that is we need to for the now you're not going to let me do it for some strange and obscure reason oh it's because i've done it wrong derp there we go so let's do that put that in there and there do they stack yes they do wonders will never cease let's put those in there then let us uh, i'm going to keep the black wood over here because it's not it's not our everyday wood that's our special special occasion wood that is uh let's come down here then and we will get our shelf up here on the plop wall up there you can go on that so let us go ahead and put down our first table and we will abracadabra turn that into our um whatever this is called we don't need the wand in there what is this called an arcane work table and now we need to go and do the other one we need to click this with scribing tools uh so we need the stuff for that we need a file which is going to be uh, one clay and three glass clay i definitely have somewhere around had a big stack of it at one point. It's going to be in one of these chests. Probably. Oh, oh no, it wasn't in there. Uh, clay. There we go. We have clay. Uh, we need three glass. Do we have three glass? Not glass panes. They have to be glass blocks. I definitely had some somewhere. Uh, I've got one. Oh, that's useful. Um, are they upstairs in our industrial craft two area? No, because we probably put them all into the thermionic fabricator, which is a good point, actually. Do we have any spare glass in the thermionic fabricator? Probably. Uh, yes, we do. In fact, we have three. Now I have two clay in there, and I don't know why. Maybe I picked it up from somewhere while I was out. That's fine. Where did we get all that clay from? It was in one of these chests. It wasn't in that chest. There we go. We only need one of you. Uh, so now we can make the glass file. We need one feather which is um, not a problem, and we need one ink sack, which is not a problem either. So, we'll go down again, and what we will do is, I think we have to use the arcane work table, and we have to use this to make the file, I think. We actually get eight of them, which we don't really need. And then we can use this as a normal crafting table, so it's one file, uh, one feather, and one ink sack, and that makes us the scribing tools. And then we use the scribing tools on this table, and that turns it into a research table. And this is where we can use all of our uh, magic to try and discover new recipes. Now, the magic that we have, the air, the water, the fire, the order, uh, and the earth, we don't have any entropy yet. But that is the stuff that I already have in my wand, I think, um, from tapping that node that was outside. I could be wrong about that because I'm not 100% sure on it yet. Yeah, because there is one thing there that isn't full. The first one's half full. The second two are almost full. Mm, not really 100% sure. I know you can use items in this to, to fill this up. And you, you put stuff in here. You need some blank paper. But I'll read through it all more 
uh, when I'm offline because like I said I don't want to spend too much time just messing around with it but uh, the main points are we have actually now got started with our um, thermatology so we need to go ahead and build some more of this stuff I'm not sure what we need to go for next we'll probably get all this finished I will have to go through and, and read a lot of this what else do we have golemancy so we can build golems um, what's that uh, trahemagi no idea what that is. Um, Thormic tinkering, apothe apocryphia. Wow, they don't use like using words that I can pronounce well, do they? Uh, Apomancy, so basically bees. Uh, energistics. So I wonder if that, if that ties everything in with uh, applied energistics. Yeah, thermo uh, thermaturgy enters the digital age, so there's obviously a cross mod for that. Uh, so I think this is what I'm going to have to concentrate on first. Oh yeah, we also need a... Um, a cauldron as well, don't we? Got to go ahead and do that. Because um, I remember you... Well, it's a crucible. You chuck stuff in the crucible and, and boil it up, basically. So we'll need to go and grab some lava. Let's just double check that. So... To craft a crucible, you must simply use your wand on a cauldron placed in the world. The crucible is an important tool for any thermatage. It allows him to render physical objects into their component essential and recombine it again as he wishes. The crucible needs to be placed over a source of constant heat and filled with water. Once the water starts boiling, you simply throw any items you wish into the crucible and they will be broken down into their component essential. If you mix the proper formula and and the mix of essential within the crucible is correct, you can then drop a special item into the crucible known as a catalyst. The catalyst draws the essential into itself and transforms into a whole new item that the crucible then ejects. So that's something that I had started to do before in a previous playthrough where you chuck a load of stuff into the crucible and it gets broken down into the, the sort of raw materials, that, that essential, and then you throw in the catalyst and that gets transmuted. Any leftover essential remains within the crucible for further use, but it is not a good idea to leave essential within a crucible for too long. Crafting also uses some of the water within the crucible and you will eventually need to refill it. Essential within the crucible is constantly degrading. Compound essential degrades into one of its component aspects and primal essential simply evacerates. Evacerates? Evaporates. I was thinking about evisceration for some reason. Uh, beyond the waste of resources, evaporating and dis, uh, degrading essentia can cause many strange side effects. You can empty a crucible by shift right clicking on it with a wand. All the essentia is dumped into the atmosphere. Not something you want to do too often. So you've got to be careful with it. And there are some basic alchemical recipes that anyone can perform. See the following pages for their recipes. So balanced vischards um, and some smelting and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and we'll make a cauldron. We'll make a crucible. Now one thing that I can't do here is obviously we're going to need to put lava in it or something like that. Uh, one thing that I won't be able to do is uh, dig a hole in the floor to put in lava because directly below us is uh, is basically another floor it's it's uh, well that, that was up it's it's down here uh, so we'll have to put one in up above we'll have to be careful uh, we'll also need a water source i mean i do have a water source up here which i could essentially channel downstairs but i don't think it's too far to go i don't think we'll have to fill it up that often um so let me just quickly remind myself how do i make how do i make a cauldron i guess it's just iron blocks probably um cauldron which is cauldron is for witchery we want the standard cauldron and yeah it is just just iron bars um never got enough iron bars basically is is the problem i have in this game uh, how much iron do i have left in here um 39 ingots probably be enough for a little while let's go ahead and just pour nine blocks out I'm just going to jump upstairs and I am going to grab myself uh, two buckets because I have two buckets. Um, I'm also, actually, while I'm here, let's go ahead and grab some of those wooden planks. Where are they? Let's go ahead and do that. And uh, we'll make ourselves um, two chests. And what I want to do is use one bucket for water. And I'm going to go down to the smeltery and use the other bucket and I'll just nab some of the... Uh, some of the lava out of there let's go ahead and grab that iron block and we'll turn it in to iron ingots so we go downstairs to our thermaturgy world now what i can do here i suppose is i can actually just make the um the cauldron here probably yep yeah, not a problem at all i need some cobblestone blocks actually now then if we go ahead and put down a uh, a double chest over here does that work like... Yeah, I was wondering if it would work a little bit like the um, 
the sort of crafting benches or the crafting tables, whichever one it is, the work benches where you can actually access the chest, but apparently not. Uh, didn't bring that cobblestone with me, did I? So let's just go up and um, grab a sack of cobblestone. These elevators just make everything so much better. Um, so if we go ahead and um, put the cauldron right here in the middle of the room, and then the lava will give us a little bit of a light source as well. Because currently, if we take this out, what you will notice is, if I hit F7, we've got a few places around in this room where stuff can spawn because it's too dark. I'm going to put one block over here so I've got something to attach the cauldron to. In goes the lava. And that lava now provides enough light. I'm not sure if it'll still be visible once we've put the cauldron over the top, though. So we'll have to double check. So cauldron goes over the top. We still apparently have enough light. We can get rid of this uh, this block here. And what we'll probably do is... Um, in fact, I will definitely do it. Let's just go ahead to this table. We'll make some uh, stone steps. Because we want to be able to get up to this thing nice and easily. So we're definitely going to want to have uh, stone steps on each side, probably. Uh, do we want it on each side? Yeah, why not? I don't think we're going to have that many different um, machines and things in here. Do I want to go all the way around with it? Can we do those Do those fancy corner blocks still work? Yes, they do. Then, yes, I'm definitely going all the way around with it. I think that's an actual mod. I don't think they all... Uh, no, actually, those on the basic steps, they are uh, vanilla Minecraft. I wonder if we've got micro blocks in this, um, in this mod pack. Not entirely sure. Uh, but that should be enough. I think I've made way too many there. Um, but that should be enough to um, go around and make the entire thing... That ballsed up completely, didn't it? Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. And, um, yeah. Get rid of that one. There we go. That's much better. This thing is far bigger than it needs to be, though. But it looks cool. So, there's that. There we go. And now we can literally run over it without having to jump and do various other stuff. So, okay, we've done all that. Uh, we need the wand again. So let's grab the magic wand and um, hopefully... Bing! There we go. Throw some water in. And there we are. Oh, it's consumed my bucket as well. Oh, no, it didn't. It put it in there. I was just going to say, I'd be a bit annoyed if it has done that. Fantastic. Well, I think that is a very good start. I'll put that wand somewhere nice and safe. And um, we will put anything like that in there, I suppose. So there we go, we've made a relatively decent start to um, th th thermaturgy, Therm thermatology, thormcraft. We've made a decent start on thormcraft, and I'm, I'm happy with that. Still need to do some work on the multi-farm, and by some work I mean I need to start work on the multi-farm. Um, I've made the basic blocks, but I haven't made the farm blocks yet. Some of you might find it a little bit strange that I am zipping backwards and forwards between various different mod packs or various different mods. I'm trying to do it differently to how I've done my other Minecraft series because in all of my other Minecraft series, what I've basically done is... Um, let's get rid of F7. Uh, in my other Minecraft series, what I've always basically done is pretty much work my way through one mod pack before looking at another. And um, I'm just trying to mix it up a little bit and make it a little bit different. Got some more peat over here. We've also got a lot of stuff in the farm. Oh, so I don't know where luggage has disappeared to. So once again, we've lost the luggage. Um, it does have a habit of disappearing. Um, which is why I had to spawn another one in. Because he doesn't... I can't, I can't even remember when I last saw him. Maybe... Did he teleport back with me? I think that might be the issue when I'm teleporting around. He doesn't always come, but... I don't know. I'll, I'll find him at some point. Uh, but here we are. We have the um, the farm, which I haven't harvested uh, anything yet. But uh, we'll close the gate here. And uh, just before we end, because I know... S oh, there he is. Uh, just because I know some of you have been dying for me to do this. And I do know what's coming, by the way. I'm not, um, I I'm not a complete imbecile. Um... If I can find one, I thought I had one. No, you guys may be out of... Ah, Mandrake. There we go. We're going to harvest a Mandrake, people. If you're listening to this through headphones, or you've got your volume on loud, be warned. This can get nasty. Well, 
Well, that wasn't too bad. Luckily, they're relatively easy to kill with a nano saber. Uh, but they do cause this nausea, which... Whoa, there we go. Okay, so we have ourselves a mandrake root. I have done that before, so I know, know what was to come with those, but... Got a feeling a few of you were trying to catch me out, but it's not that easy. I'll go and pop that in the chest with all the rest of the stuff and clear out my inventory a little bit. Maybe start working towards that multi-farm and reading through my uh, Thormonomicon and work out a little bit more about what we're going to do next in uh, Thormcraft. Bear in mind, we also have uh, Witchcraft and uh, Mysticraft in this mod pack as well. So there's quite a lot of magical-based stuff that we can do. It's all, all going to be very, very interesting. So let's get rid of all of this stuff. A lot of mandrake seeds there. Buckets can go in here, and um, the wood might as well stay in there as well. Guess the steps can go in there. Guess the iron can go in there, and we'll get rid of the cobblestone. So there we go. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Feed the Beast Infinity. Please, by all means, keep those tips and suggestions coming. And uh, I, you know, I do, do love reading through the ideas that you guys have because this is one of the good things about uh, Minecraft and Feed the Beast and these mod packs that contain lots of different mods is that um, there's often multiple different ways of achieving the same goal. And while I always have the way that I prefer, which is probably because it's the way that I learned to do it in things like Tech It and Feed the Beast Unlimited, uh, because you guys have been messing around with other mods, you have different ways of achieving the same goals. And it's fantastic to hear different ways of doing things and, and trying them out because things like building a, a press to get paper, I mean... Paper is a valuable resource. It's used for a lot of things, and it's so easy to build it. It's literally just two pistons and some iron ingots. I mean, it's such a simple machine. It doesn't even require power and allows you to turn logs into paper. I mean, okay, it's not exactly a good use of resources, one log for one sheet of paper, when, you know, a single log can make an entire crafting bench. Uh, but it is a good way of doing it without having to go off and try and find, uh, find cane or uh, find villages and stuff like that. So those sort of tips are appreciated. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Until then, goodbye for now.